Hi everyone. Um, so my slides turned out a little weird when I converted them into PowerPoint. Uh, some things changed color, other things disappeared entirely, including all of the axes for all of my graphs. So um, some slides look a little bit more like abstract art than actual slides, <laughs> uh, but please bear with me. Um, so, in my first semester of my first year at university, I was a binge studier. And if you'll just like imagine a giant calendar here, um, so basically what this means is uh, I would wait until the day before a test to start studying, and on that day I would just spend hours and hours studying just that subject and completely ignoring all of my other subjects, and naturally I would get behind and have to start this vicious cycle for the next test, and I kept doing this for all of my tests and assignments, which just kept piling up and up and up and up and up and up <laughs> until I was... <laughs> completely burnt out. I had no motivation to learn or like do anything school related, but I knew I wanted to improve and I knew I wanted to make my next semester better. Uh, so I did what I always do when I don't really know how to do something. I went to YouTube, I searched best study methods and two things popped up. Uh, the first was spacing and the second was retrieval practice, uh, but today I'm going to focus mostly on spacing. Uh, so spacing works exactly like it sounds. It's just spacing out your study sessions over time. Uh, so for example, if you plan to study for four hours the day before a test, you could break up those four hours into four one-hour study sessions spread out over the entire week. But does this actually work? I mean, you're not actually studying more, you're just like breaking up your total study time into smaller chunks. And in fact, it does. Uh, in a study by Sapita et al, looking at people memorizing a set of facts, those who had an 11-day gap in between two study sessions performed 25% better on a recall test uh, compared to those who had no gap in between their two study sessions. And in another study by Barrick et al, uh, looking at vocabulary words, learning foreign language vocabulary words over a period of five years, participants who had their total study time broken up into 26 sessions had an 18% better performance in a recall test compared to those who had the same study time broken up into 13 sessions. So uh, I was all set to use spacing in my second semester and how I did it uh, was I had three piles of flashcards that I would cycle all of my flashcards through. Uh, so there was a pile that I studied every day, one that I studied every other day, and one that I studied once a week. And as you can see, I'm gradually increasing the spacing of my studying uh, throughout these three piles. So how can you use spacing? Well, you have a couple of options. One would be to just break out your calendar and schedule in space study sessions by week. Or you could use like a flashcard method like me or whatever method of spacing you use, as long as you're adhering to the principle of breaking up your total study time into smaller chunks, you'll be using spacing effectively. Uh, so I often wonder how my first semester would have went had I learned how to use spacing. And probably instead of looking like this dog, I would have looked more like this dog. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>